there's there's sort of nothing like it compared like if you play a live gig you just go in you go through the motions and you leave where on the street it's it's sometimes life-threatening and it's addictive and it's uh, and just the people you meet good and bad and happy and sad and that's why I love it so much I've been busking since about uh, 91 and performing the same thing. I went to America in 91, um, ended up singing in a band over there for the first time. I've always loved music but I've never, never thought about performing so I was sort of forced into it. And then the busking side of it, the money soon ran out and I was sort of just had to hit the street. From the early days, uh, I've pretty much played every venue you can in Newcastle, some you really can't play but we, we put shows on there anyway. For, for different gigs, um, the Cambridge Hotel, the old Tattersalls Club up near the Great Northern, um, the Lucky Country, Lasso Gary, uh, many bowling clubs and, and, and just general halls that we used to just put gigs on. Um, and the biggest gig we did was probably the Entertainment Centre with Silver Chair. So pretty much across the whole board we sort of played wherever we could. Yeah. I think it's never been easier to break into the Australian music industry than now, um, just due to the fact of the internet, um, how easy it is for people to press their own music, to record their own music and to send it all over the world. So um, I chose this approach just due to the fact that it's a lot easier, it was a lot easier on me with my daughter at the time to just pack up the guitar and just hit the street and play. I can't see any other way for me to get my music out there than to hand it to someone's hand and ask them to burn it if they like it and most of the times they have. There was one time where a guy come in, I gave him a disc and I said, have you burned it? And he said, yeah, I have. And I said, how many times? He goes, oh, I don't really want to tell you. And I said, how many have you burned it? How many times has it been burnt? And he said a hundred times just from him passing it on to friends and burning and burning. And so I, I can't do that any other way. So. It's, it's very important, for sure. So what is the, uh, the first album was recorded in Dawson Street, Cooks Hill, in a lounge room, uh, on a little four track. And the second album was also recorded on a four track, but in a bathroom. So here we are. Uh, yeah, that was done in 2003. And I was sort of 11 down. And we chose the bathroom just because of the uh, natural reverb. Okay, here we are. I'm just going to demonstrate some uh, lovely acoustics of uh, this bathroom. So. It's a loving situation that we find ourselves into. It's a loving condemnation. I will find, I will find it there. Uh, the third album I've already started, I'm sort of pretty much halfway through. I'm recording that at Maryville, suburb of Newcastle. And um, that one's pretty much in a lounge room as well, but sort of through a, a producer with computers and stuff. And, uh... Yes, uh, this is my daughter Oka, my partner Lana and our baby daughter, Nixie. He gets to play his music and make money, which in Newcastle he wouldn't be able to do if he was in the pubs because they just don't pay enough for independent artists or original music, which is a shame. What do you think about Daddy busking? You've been out busking with him, with your harmonica. Do you get some cash? You made more than Dad. Didn't you make more than Dad? Because of the cute factor. <laughs> My ultimate dream would be to just travel Australia for a few years, just constantly travelling and playing. By the end of next year, bring out a debut album. And then for 2009, we are planning to take the whole family to Europe. And I'd love to be able to take that album with us and, and play as much as we can. Do I ultimately believe I'll make it one day? Well, um, I read this thing that John Butler once said, someone asked him the same question, when do you think you've made it? And he said that when I could pay my rent out of busking. So 
whatever that level of making it is, um, as long as I can keep on singing and, and keep on bringing out some music to new people. Yeah, that is, that is to me is making it really, so.